If you've been thinking about building a PC for live streaming, you've likely been overwhelmed by all the parts and options available and probably shocked by how quickly the prices can skyrocket. But building a live streaming PC that fits your budget is very feasible. You just need to know what kind of content you'll be streaming. So in this episode of The Lab, we're gonna take a look at the most important parts for building a live streaming PC. So the first question you need to ask yourself is what kind of content will you be streaming with this PC? Will you be doing something a bit more straightforward like a just chatting stream or a talk show or podcast or maybe just dipping your toes into some game streaming? Or do you need a setup that is more modular or can be used for multiple purposes like an event stream? And finally, the most important question is what is your budget? So for this video, I'm gonna cover two distinct PC builds. The first build is gonna be for your simple stream like a just chatting or a simple gaming stream. The second build is gonna be more advanced for like event streams. Now the tool I'm gonna to use to configure these PC builds is PC Part Picker. If you never used PC Part Picker before, it's a really great tool for configuring PCs and making sure parts will work together. I'll leave a link in the description to the builds I'm gonna use. Now these are just baseline templates. Don't take my word for them, configure them however you like, and I highly recommend customizing them and making sure you can find the best deal possible. So the first build we're gonna talk about is like your entry level build. This is for just chatting streams, maybe a talk show, or just a simple gaming stream. You're not gonna need a lot of inputs, maybe one or two capture cards, so you don't need this big massive motherboard. The most important part about this build is gonna be the GPU. So initially streaming software was highly reliant on software encoding known as X264. And while this gave you really high quality streams at lower bit rates, it was really taxing on your CPU, which could affect performance in things like games. Now, with the introduction of hardware encoders like Intel's QuickSync, AMD's VCE, and Nvidia's NVENC, you started to get really high quality streams that weren't taxing on the CPU, therefore it didn't affect your games. And the one that's really stood out the most has been Nvidia's NVENC. You can get comparable to X264 quality and even surpass it at times using NVEC, especially the newer models that are available on the RTX GPUs and the 1660 GPU. So the primary goal of this build is to devote your budget towards getting a GPU that has the latest version of NVEC available so you can get the highest stream quality available. Now the baseline for this is the 1660 GPU, but if you're looking to play games like Cyberpunk 2077 or any modern titles at 4K resolutions or high refresh rates, I recommend getting the better GPUs like going for the 3000 line or at least the 2070 or 2080 Ti line. Now picking the rest of the components for this build is fairly straightforward. Make sure to get at least a quad core CPU. Now if gameplay performance is really important, get a higher end CPU, get at least a Ryzen 7 or an Intel i7 CPU. Make sure to get at least 16 gigabytes of RAM. And for your hard drive, I recommend getting at least two hard drives, especially if you're gonna be recording a lot of content. You don't need to get anything RGB or fancy cases. This really drives up the price. And you can see with the really simple, straightforward build here, we're at about 1300 USD and it can increase or decrease based on the components that you need. So next we're gonna talk about a build for live event production or multi-camera production. And in these builds, the budget kind of shifts towards the CPU, but not for reasons you might think. So in these types of setups, this PC is like the centerpiece of the whole event production. It's sending video to the audience. It's taking in multiple camera feeds and all these inputs and outputs require a lot of PCIe lanes. So pretty much all of consumer level CPUs have a limited number of PCIe lanes. And what this means is that they have a limited number of PCIe slots. These are the slots that you put in like the GPU. And usually you have maybe two more slots left over. Now, if you go to the AMD Threadripper line or the Intel Core X line, this is their prosumer line, you get many more slots to input many more capture cards. Now the drawback to this is that these CPUs can be quite expensive, but if you have to put more of the budget to these, these CPUs also have so many cores that you can also encode in 1080p 60 FPS at an X264 medium preset or even slow preset with no problem. So you get a really high quality stream still. So in regards to GPUs, if you still have the budget left over, I recommend getting at least a 1660 GPU. Now, if you think that this PC is gonna display to like massive video walls, then spring for a Quadro GPU. You also don't want to cheap out on the power supply, especially with this CPU. You know, I recommend at least a gold class, you know, 750, 850 watt up to a platinum class power supply. You also want to be very picky with your cooler for your CPU. You want to make sure that CPU gets cool, especially when it's working hard. And I recommend an air cooler, especially if you'll be traveling with this PC, because if you travel with liquid cooler, you might be setting yourself up for disaster. And speaking of travel, you're going to be traveling a lot with this machine. 
don't get a massive case that's going to add weight and then you have to pay overweight fees to travel with your PC. Get as compact of a case as possible and avoid things like tempered glass or see-through plastic panels. So again, 16 gigs will suffice, but if you're planning to use this as a multimedia machine, like for video editing, I recommend 32 gigs. But that's pretty much how I build an entry-level PC for like simple game streaming or just chatting streams or building a PC for like live event production. But if you want like a TLDR, you know, just a very simple basic guide, then put your budget first towards getting a GPU that has the latest NVIDIA NVENC encoder, so at least a 1660. And then basically pick the parts like the CPU, the RAM, the motherboard, Pick it based on your needs and your situations and you can just go from there. But I wanna know from you guys watching, what's your dream PC build? And were you lucky enough to grab one of the new AMD or Nvidia GPUs? And do you build your own PCs or do you buy pre-built? Let me know in the comments. Thanks again for watching. Make sure to like this video if it was helpful and make sure to subscribe for more sessions in the lab.